ring tails raccoons trash pandas whatever you call them they are extremely adorable and interesting animals uh, they are extremely common as well um, especially in urban areas in north america I, i remember seeing my first one just within a few months i think i was walking back from a college party in syracuse new york and there it was crossing the road uh, and i wished so bad that i could find uh, my camera at that point and get an image because at that time i was really big into photography it took almost a year for me to see a raccoon during the daytime which is when i clicked this photo that inspired the painting you're about to see and this raccoon was a cute baby raccoon and i uh, we, i later found out that there was a whole family that was living uh, on the roof of neighbor the neighbor's house uh, i never told them about it i hope they are still living there quite peacefully and in this painting you will see that i have minimal drawing i have just barely put a few pencil marks to see where uh, the raccoon is going to be uh, and that's for a couple of reasons first is that i wanted this painting to be really loose um and you know like i want to get i wanted to get the fluffiness of this baby raccoon but also i'm really bad at drawing i i it's really hard for me to see lines i can see shapes so many times i prefer to directly draw with paint so i have just few markings with pencil and then i just go in and put some characteristic features i did focus a lot on getting this bandit like mask so they have this uh, black band around their face and you will see many nocturnal animals will have it uh, so they're more uh, it, uh, some people say it helps them see uh, better in the dark uh, to me it does not make sense because a lot of nocturnal predators also have white around their eyes that will reflect more light uh, into their eyes but anyway regardless uh, if you know why they have uh, this black bandit like mask on their face uh, let me know uh, it's also interesting i think one of the one of the characteristic features of raccoons and a lot of members of this family so raccoons belong to this group of animals that include weasels otters skunks badgers rattles and so many more and one characteristic feature in all of them that is really common is that their tails are ringed um, not all of them but a lot of them do have rings on their tail and it always catches my attention i think that is the goal of the the, the tails is to draw our attention and draw the attention of the predator so if some predator wants to attack a raccoon they would probably uh, focus on the tail just because it's so stripy and uh, vibrant um, and so i did want to get that feel in this painting as well one of the hardest parts about this painting was this open expanse of green grass in the foreground uh, i still struggle with making that look interesting uh, and uh, you will see me throughout this painting adding more paint lifting paint up just trying to make it interesting enough that it doesn't look boring and bland and to some extent i was successful but uh, i'm yet to figure out intuitively how to get these flat areas to look interesting but not take away uh the focus of the painting raccoons have also been extremely useful contributing to science since very early days carlos linnaeus one of the fathers of taxonomy which builds foundation for environmental biology had a pet raccoon who he observed all the time day and night recording its behavior seeing how the raccoon interacts with other humans um linnaeus found that uh, their sense of smell was really good and they could smell food in the pockets of his students and there was one time when uh, the raccoon tried to grab food from uh, from one of the gardener's pockets uh, and the gardener was surprised and ended up kicking um, the raccoon and since then the raccoon identified the gardener in particular not all humans the gardener in particular as an enemy and would make a seagull like sound that's that's what uh, linus wrote he made a seagull like sound whenever he saw the gardener anyway i think understanding behaviors of that one raccoon might have helped uh, linus formulate a lot of his theories about interactions 
that happened in nature that built the foundation of environmental biology and taxonomy today so thank you to the raccoon that helped us all <laughs> Hi there, it's Anish here. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time painting it and you know what? We're actually very close to 200 subscribers. So if you like watching my videos but have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and we can get to our next landmark or milestone together. If you like watching these animal fun fact videos, let me know down in the comments below. I have so many more fun facts, so many more paintings to make and so many more stories to share. I cannot wait to make them all. And as always, see you next time.